Hey, it's Nathan with crazyeyemarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna check out the analytics within ClickFunnels 2.0. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we wanna go ahead and navigate to analytics and it gives us an overview of everything going on in our account. And you notice at the top, we can go ahead and change between all funnels, we can change our date ranges, and we can also have a compare to period. So you can go ahead and change up what you're looking at, but we'll go with all funnels for this particular example. So we can see all the orders on my website or within my ClickFunnels account, which is zero. Now test orders do not count in the analytics dashboard. So that's why this is showing zero, even though I've had several test orders, you need actual money flowing through your account before it starts showing up in your analytics dashboard. And it does show our opt-ins because the opt-in doesn't cost anything. So we see that I've had 20 opt-ins and I could go ahead and click on this little icon right here and it would change the graph to show my opt-ins. So if I wanted to compare my opt-ins from one time period to another time period, I could go ahead and click there or I could switch it back to total orders, or I could look at page views if I wanted to do that, or I could also check out my conversion rate if I wanted to compare conversion rates from one period to another. We do have daily and weekly graphs, so you can go ahead and change that depending on you know your time frames. And of course, if you wanted to look at a specific funnel, you could go ahead and do that right there. We have our total product sales right here, so you can see which products are bringing in the most money opt-ins right here and you can see which pages or opt-ins are leading to the most number of leads and then our customers right here so we can see which pages or funnels are creating the most number of customers within our click funnels account so it's a nice dashboard snapshot of everything that's going on within all funnels or specific funnels but if we want to go into more details we can click on reporting right here and there are a whole bunch of different reports you could go ahead and look through. So we could look at sales reports. And so we could do all sales or sales by funnel or sales by product. And I'm going to go ahead and click on sales by funnel. Nothing should show up because I don't have any active credit card payments going through. But you could get a breakdown of how your funnels are performing. So again, we have our time frame we could select between our revenue versus our refunds. And we could also do a breakdown with the number of orders, refunds, and revenue. So you get a good snapshot of everything going on in your account. But again, I've only done test orders, so there's no details showing up. But if you have actual payments going through, you would see details. We'll go to reporting again, and here's opt-in. So we can do all opt-ins, opt-ins by funnel, opt-ins by landing page. We'll go ahead and do opt-ins by funnel. And now I can see a breakdown of my opt-ins per my various funnels. And I could go ahead and compare timeframes and select different funnels to compare and a breakdown of all my opt-ins and everything. So it just gives us a little more detail than the over overview tab. Also, we could break it down by all opt-ins or by landing page. Same concept with page views, subscriptions, which could be very beneficial. If you have subscriptions, you can see the monthly recurring revenue by product, and you can figure out which products are generating the most recurring income. And that could help you focus your marketing efforts on you know promoting more of that type of product. We could also look at trials as well. I don't have any trials set up, so there's nothing to see, but if you wanna check that out, there is a report for it. And we also have course progress right here, so you can see how far along people are in your courses. Now, for some reason, this just brings you over to the courses area and you can look at member enrollments right here and you can see how far people are progressing through the course. I was hoping for like, you know, a graph or a table that showed on average how far people are going into a course. Maybe the ClickFunnels team is working on adding that because going here and looking at it, I wouldn't consider it a report per se. But anyway, that's how it's set up right now. Finally, we do have live view. So you can get a live stream of everything that's going on within your ClickFunnels account. So people viewing pages, looking at products and so on. Especially if you have customer information and you have returning customers, then you could easily track who is doing what on different pages and that pretty much covers it for the analytics section but there's other places that you can look at analytics as well so if we come to our funnels up here and we can go ahead and open up one of our funnels so I have my full sales funnel right here and we can see that there are analytics on the left hand side so we could look at how much our sales funnel is bringing in or how many sales is generated and so on I'm gonna go ahead and do the last 30 days so that way there might be some data showing up and I can see now that I've had 10 opt-ins and 16 page views. And you'll notice as well, every page has stats that you can look at. So I've had five page views and six opt-ins. So doing, you know, I have greater than 100% conversion rate on opt-ins right there. 
and then we get into our OTO statistics and our order confirmation and downsell and so on. And again, since this has always been in test mode, it's not showing orders or revenue generated. But if this was an active live funnel with credit card information being sent through and payments happening, well, then I would see the number of orders and revenue as well. And it could help you analyze your individual pages of your funnels. So you could identify anything that might be holding you back or limiting your sales and slowing down your conversion rate. So this is another great place to go in order to look at your analytics for individual funnels and pages. And I just wanted to point that out to you because it's not in the actual analytics area. And that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyoutmarketing.com for more marketing related materials. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.